Hey guys, so our lure review this week is uh, going to be on a rip bait. This is the Excalibur Erratic Shad and also the Excalibur XS4. These are two baits that are very similar and I'm going to go ahead and do both of them because they are so similar. On a side note, um, I'm jumping into the rip baits. Uh, this is a rip bait that I've owned for a little while. Um, my back ordered items still have not showed up yet, so it kind of pushed me into a corner to have to do some of the ones that... Uh, that I already own and uh, we're going to ha probably have to go get some here in town so we can keep our, our lure reviews going until I get my back ordered items from Tackle Warehouse. I'm expecting four lures, two sets. I'm expecting a Bagley model, model Balsa B, which is back order. has been back ordered like four times already. And then I'm also expecting the ABT X2 square bow crankbait, which was, uh, it was back ordered. It's not anymore, but it's, um, it, they're not going to ship it until I get the, the Bagley's. So, um, and then at the end of this month, I'm waiting to do my next tackle warehouse order, which is going to be uh, a bunch of rip baits. I'm waiting to do that because there's going to be, um, there'll probably be a cyber Monday, black Friday sale, um, at the end of the month. So I'm just kind of waiting on that. So, uh, with that being said, we're just going to go ahead and, and do this little review first. All right, guys, so two baits. You have the, the Excalibur Erratic Shad or the XEE4, which is what this one is. And then you have the Excalibur XS4, which is what this one is. And this one is the discontinued version, I believe. I don't, I don't think you can find this one anymore, but almost identical to, to the one that's endorsed by Edwin Evers. The Edwin Evers version, as you can tell with the name E Erratic Shad, it's endorsed by Edwin Evers. It's kind of a almost a refined version of this one. It has a few small differences. In fact, there's only one main difference that I can see in this one versus this one that actually um, makes the Erratic Shad maybe a little bit better than this one. But uh, go ahead and go over the dimensions for you. It has a, um, they both have the same dimensions. They have a length of four and a half inches and they have a weight of a half an ounce and they have a diving depth of three to five feet and they're both suspending. Um, the three to five foot depth I'm finding that they dive around three feet. Uh, they're not the deepest divers for me, um, but they're not supposed to be. But that's, I, mean, I think they're more around the three foot range than they are the five foot range. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the measurement here. They have an overall length with both rings of around four and three quarters of an inch. And then without the rings are right at four and a half inches. And the bill is right on the end too, so it's the same length. So <clears throat> now, as far as the baits are concerned, they have the same exact profile of uh, an old school bait that is uh, that you guys have probably heard of, which is the Smithwick Rogue. It's this bait right here. The same exact profile, you guys. Okay. Now the Excaliburs have a little bit more of a uh, technology built into them. Uh, the the Smithwicks don't come with as nice, nice of hooks, and they don't come with a weight transfer system and all that, all that happy stuff. Um, but as far as the Excaliburs are concerned, the Excaliburs have more of a muted action, the um, or a subtle action, I should I should say. The the Smithwicks seem to have more, uh, they're a little bit more erratic. Pardon the pun, but they are a little bit more erratic than than these ones. These are a little bit more subtle and uh, more tight. They have a, a rolling, a rolling, um, I guess wiggle, they, they wiggle this way from, from side to side, like a, almost like a tail kick, but they also wobble this way. So they, they have good action, but it's just not as erratic as the Smithwicks. But the nice things that you're getting with these over the, over the Smithwick Rogues is like the weight transfer system. They both have it. They both have uh, rattles, which the Smithwick Rogue has, but they also have this, uh, they also have like nicer hooks come standard on it. They have oval split rings on the front. They just have nicer components right out the gate. Um, as far as the weight transfer system goes, they look like they're tungsten weights, but I can't really tell for sure what that material is in there on those balls. But, um, the weight transfer system, they just move towards the back and then you can, it helps cast it by moving the weight towards the back of the bait and it, it'll help the bait not helicopter as much. That's one thing that the Smithwicks do is the Smithwicks will tend to helicopter, especially if you're not doing an underhand roll cast. Um, 
these ones don't helicopter as much with that weight transfer system. And then when the when they start diving down, after you cast, they get into the water and then you dive them and then the weight goes forward. Now here's one of the main differences um, with the XS4 and the XEE4. This is the XS4. The XS4 has more of a horizontal uh, suspend to it. So when it's in the water, under, underneath the wa surface of the water, it's suspending almost horizontal, maybe a little bit like this. This one actually has a very aggressive nose down position and you can hear the weights in here, just so, just so you can hear. So you can hear the weights in there. But this one has a very aggressive nose down position, which is something that you want in a rip bait for whatever reason that is. And um, your guess is as good as mine for why the fish tend to like that nose down position a little bit better, but they do. And so that's what you look for in a rip bait. And this one has a very nice nose down position. So that's something that this one offers over the XS4. And the uh, erratic shad is, is not discontinued, I, I don't think. And you can still find this one at Tackle Warehouse. That's where I got this one. This one, um, I don't, uh, you can probably find these ones in like outlet stores still. So, but they're both really, really nice baits and they have, they have uh, a good selection of colors, especially with the erratic shads. So the first color I'll go over with you is this one. This one's IU and IU has a green back, a dark olive green back faded into a nice bright chartreuse with a more of a chartreuse dot right here and then uh, a very subtle yellow, like a pale yellow color here on the belly. You can see that it says Excalibur. Maybe you can't see it because you can't focus on it, huh? You can see this one says Excalibur XEE4 right on the bottom. So. There's IU. And then the next color we'll go over is called Pearl Shad. <clears throat> Pearl Shad is just kind of like a, a ghost chartreuse shad with that, with that same uh, light blue uh, scale pattern on the back and then just a clear uh, an overall clear body, but it's kind of has a pearl tint to it, but it's mostly clear. And then it has a chartreuse line and you can see that it's a little bit of a bleeding gill on it. So there's pearl shed. Okay, so you can tell that these baits they have, uh, they're actually, you can tell that they're cut from the same exact mold with, with the features on the body of them themselves. You can see that they both have the same etched scale patterns and the same raised gill plates, the same distinctive Excalibur red eyes. Uh, there's minor differences in the bills. Um, the, the Edwin Evers version has a little bit of a tapered bill here on the side. And then the XS4 has straight sides. The straight sides are almost exactly like the uh, like the Smithwick Rogue here. So, and they both have rattles in them. You can see that this has a baffle here. Um, there's a baffle that goes straight here, and then there's two balls here, and then two balls here, which makes up for that that rattle that's in there. And they both have that. So, um, I would I would guess, considering that I only have these two in the erratic shads that uh, they're both opaque so I can't see through them but um, I would be guessing that there's a, a heavier weight up front here which is making it sound a little um, a little more of a of a duller lower pitch sound than this one does so so there they are you guys um, pretty sweet little baits uh, especially if you really like that uh, the Smithwicks the Smithwick is, is a, a very old school bait and these are all coming from that same Pradco uh, umbrella company that Excalibur and Smithwick are a part of so they all come from the same place which makes sense that that the Smithwick is the same as these guys here so nice baits the Smithwick has a little bit of uh, a little bit of a different action but um, this one has some, these two have some nicer features than the Smithwick does. So, and they come with nicer hooks standard. 
So uh, check them out. And then uh, I'm also going to throw on here, um, in addition to yesterday's fishing, uh, a buddy of mine uh, went fishing and um, I forgot to throw on a fish that he caught. And um, I don't, I, I, I want him to not be so angry with me that I didn't put his video up so you guys can see his fish too. So I'm going to put his video up too. So because I don't want him to be upset. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to show you the fish that he caught. He caught a, he caught a pretty good fish. He was using a, a jig with a Wacom trailer. And, uh, and so here you go. Thanks for watching guys. And hopefully we'll have, uh, next week we're going to do, maybe we'll do the rogue, the Smithwick rogue next week, or maybe we'll do a wake bait. I have an IMO, um, what is that? The, the I'm a, the I'm a wake bait. I cannot remember what the name of that is. Anyway, um, the I'm a rumba, but well, there it is. Uh, maybe we'll do that one next week or the Smithwick or Jack all squirrel or something like that. I haven't decided yet, but, uh, stay tuned. We're going to be getting that. We're going to be placing our order for, for tackle warehouse here pretty soon. So we can get that discount at the, uh, at the end of November. So stay tuned and thanks for watching and thanks for liking my videos. If you guys like them. Yeah, he's nice. What is he, like three, two? Let me take a picture. Hold it straight out in front of you. And cock your hand a little bit. There you go, just like that. Ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> He's good, man. You got him right on the lip, right too. On He's good. I see that belly. Jeez, man. I told you some big bass in here. That's a big bass. I bet he's like three and a half, probably four. He's pushing four, I bet. They're in here.